hope you're having a good time. It's me, Lucky Lance, the main man at Team Last Best Hope, whatever that means. And I uh, hope you all been enjoying the summer. It's uh, been a little bit cooler lately. I actually had a massive thunderstorm yesterday, so that's good. It's real loud. It helped me fall asleep. Nothing like the uh, sound of soothing rain to help me go to bed, fall asleep, get rested as best I can. And, of course, it also helps me do this. Oh, yeah, it's a beer opener right there. Oh, yeah, it's all over me. That's what she said. Oh, man. Dogs that come by on the carpet, lap that stuff up and get drunk as hell. I wonder how much beer it takes to get a small dog drunk. Probably less than like a, like a quarter ounce. I don't think their livers are supposed to handle alcohol. Dogs have livers, I'm pretty sure. I know dogs like eating beef liver and stuff, so I would assume that they have liver. Not that, that you need a liver to eat liver. We need a liver to live. You can't have a liver. You can't not have a liver and be okay. I mean, you're going to die without your liver. You only get one of them, too. You can't have, like, runoff two or runoff one because you only get one. So you can have none. So whatever. I'm not making any sense now. I, whatever. I hope you all enjoying your summer there. Still going on. I got about another month of the summer, which is my least favorite time of the year. So i uh, got to get through this. Got a sponsor I'm really proud to have this week. Give me $25 to help pay for these packs, for the lighting, pay for the camera, pay for all this shenanigans that you get to enjoy. And this is a sponsor that I've seen running around here for a few months. Had a tracker down, give us some sponsorship. She's always really busy. She's a really popular gal out here. And I'm talking about Pammy Parts. Pamela Parts, but she goes by Pammy Parts. And why is she so popular out here? Don't get your mind too dirty. It ain't nothing about that. Think about something good that's legal. I'm talking about food. Pammy Parts Food Truck. Yeah, she goes around the area, just stops in in like random driveways. You can see her at the beer marts, either Ravensdale, Cumberland, or Enum Claus beer marts. You can see her outside the uh, museums, whatever. She's got really good food. Uh, she has... Uh, burritos and burgers all the time. I can tell you they're real good. Get that breakfast burrito, get that uh, carne sada, which I think is just meat sauce, which I don't know. She's also got to promote diversity, which we don't know anything about out here in Ravensdale. We don't have a clue what diversity means. We think that means different types of guns and beer. That's what diversity means to us. She has diverse food. So on uh, Mondays, it's Black Food Day, African American Food Day, and uh, there aren't any blacks out here, not that I'm aware of, but she has black food, which I've gotten, you don't have to be black to buy, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little suspicious of it, it tastes just like KFC. Okay, so I'm a little confused what's going on there, but it's good, KFC's good, so if she's giving KFC out. All right, and then on Thursdays, it's Asian days. Get in there, get some Asian food, and again, I'm suspicious because I went over and got some. I'm not Asian. Don't need to be Asian to get Asian food from Pammy Parts. It tasted just like Panda Express's orange chicken. So I don't know if she's just heading over to Panda Express and just getting a shit ton of orange chicken, and uh, what's the other one she had, the other sweet fire chicken? I'm just loading up and pretend it's hers. But whatever the case, it's good. Just be aware that it's probably, I, I think that she's not cooking on diverse days. You can also on diverse days, you can still get your burritos, which burritos are technically Mexican food, so I'm surprised she hasn't tried to like do some with that yet. She probably will. So anyways, guys, that's Pammy Parts. Her food's real good. Trust me when I say that. I wouldn't lie to you about food. So thanks, Pammy. Appreciate $25. All right, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! News. Um, I was unable to attend the Spokane Regional due to work. Very upset about that. I shouldn't say very upset. Just kind of sad because I've been to every Spokane Regional. Now I can't say that ever again. Um, uh, my buddy Wicked Will was the only one of our team to head over, and he told me he got his ass kicked. He's using Danger Dark Worlds. And I don't even know if he ever went around. He's pretty mad and he's telling me. I, I'm not even going to bother him about it. So I went to Locals yesterday with Danger Dark Worlds. I went 2-1-1. Uh, 
didn't top even though you know they always change the topping like some days like we had 21 players and they said it was only top six well they've had top eight before with like 16 players so it's just they throw out a random number I would have topped if it was top eight but it was top six and I just barely didn't make the cut uh, but anyways, uh, Danger Dark Worlds is a work in progress all the time. It's probably going to be a pretty relatively weak deck until October, when I'm hoping there will be more um, support for the, uh, uh, for the archetype. Which, it'll just keep getting better the more and more Danger monsters they release, because then Danger Zone will become truly a fearsome card. I mean, if you're only drawing Danger monsters and they all have discard effects, uh, your opponent's going to be a little bit scared. So we're just, I'm just hoping... Just come on, Konami. Don't let me down. Make all these danger monsters that come out in the future good, too. Like, the first four, good. Let's have the next four or three, whatever they choose, good, too. Man, that dog is going crazy. Just just chewing on itself to death. I don't know what's wrong. It'll be okay. Anyways, guys, I went down to Walmart, did my normal thing, got some Chick-fil-A, got some uh, blister packs. Real excited to uh, open these up. It's been a little while, so I've opened up some packs. I got one pack of Dark Saviors. One freaking pack. And uh, was uh, I'm really hoping to get an Engage out. If I can get an Engage, that'd be insane. That would be truly one for the ages. I've done it before. I bought one pack of Fusion Enforcers. I didn't get any invocation. I got the Macabre. That was on video. And I got the one pack of, uh, uh, what they call that one? The one with the Dark Lords in it. I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, I remember the cover and everything. Dark, no, that's that's Dark Savior's there. I don't remember, but anyway, I got an X-Gel out of it. That was insane. I actually pulled an X-Gel, the most expensive card, out of one random pack I got at Walmart. And then I have, uh, what do I got here? Let me make sure I, uh, I got uh, nine. Yeah, nine packs of Flame of Destruction. Uh, Flame of Destruction, you want to get that infinite impermanence. Pull one of those. Any of the Nightmare Monsters, well, not the rare super but like any of the all uh the goblin the unicorn the ibli uh be huge ghost bell is going to be a really popular card after soul fusion comes out because thunder dragons are really abused the banished pile and in my opinion thunder dragon after um sky striker is the best deck it's the second best deck uh so people are going to need to be picking up those ghost bells i already got mine just for in case because you never know when kind of hand traps are going to be good and then, of course, I have to have the newest set. I got nine packs of Cybernetic Horizon. Hoping for a Boral Sword of Danger Monsters. Danger Monsters are still huge. I love the ad they have for the Danger, I mean, for Cybernetic Horizon on TCG Player and Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization stuff. Where first it shows Boral, Boral Sword, the, uh, the main boss monster. And all of a sudden he's just taken over by the Danger Monsters because nobody expected the Danger cards to be this popular. And this hype. I mean, I put a danger card up for sale on eBay or at the card shop, and it's gone. I mean, people want them because in the future they're supposed to be, they got a lot of potential to be a really good deck like Cosmo and Burning Mist came out. So, yeah, God, that's only 19 packs, so don't worry about it on an hour long video. I know the last two I put up were over an hour a piece. Combined length of those videos was two hours and like 23 minutes, 24 minutes, something like that. <sighs> Pretty crazy. So anyways, guys, it's going to take me a little while with all these blister packs. i got to rip them all out, get the security tags off and everything. These ones might not have security tags on them. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'm going to head over yonder and rip those open. Make sure these dogs are all right. i got a really good audience every time I film these. Now i got dogs. i got people. i, I got, like, ghosts. probably got some Indian spirits staring at me. Uh, just, I'm getting more popular by the day. If you're a ghost watching this video, please subscribe. So I can tell you, if dogs could subscribe, I'd like that too. Anything helps. And uh, anyways, guys, hope you're all ready for this. I know I am. Hope your body's ready because we're going to get drunk. Oh, it's going in here. It's time for me to open some packs. Got 19 of them. Like Android 19 from Dragon Ball. Which one was that one? Was that the fat clown one? I think it was. One that Vegeta kills. Pretty sure it was. I don't know why they made a fat android clown creature, but I'm sure they had their purpose. Alright, my single pack of Dark Saviors. Can I pull an Engage? That would be sick. Vampire Familiar, Scout for Hire, Drowning Mirror Force, Fandora the Flying Fortress. No, I got a Sajida 
Maverick for Hire, whatever the hell that is. It's kind of a cool looking one. It's like the Flying Crow one. Oh, man, that's a bad effect. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not going to get the liberty of reading that. Burns 500 damage for every for hire monster you have when it's summoned. Like, oh, Jesus. Ooh, that's bad. All right, here we go. Flames of Destruction. Come on, Infinite Impermanence. Watch Cat, which I called many years ago when they made Watchdog. I'm like, they're going to make Watch Cat someday. It took like four years, but here it is. Malo, Element Saber, Lapolia, and World Legacy, World Lance. Always down for cards with my name in it. Uh, Crystal Master, Waking the Dragons, and I think this is going to be a super rare in the next OTS pack. Waking the Dragon. Not a bad choice. The card was certainly flavor of the month for a while. It's just a brick, and if your opponent ever hits it, it's just sitting there dead. Uh, Shadal Construct, Restoration of the Monarchs. Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord, and F.A. Dark Dragster. Uh, World Legacy Nightmare, Link Streamer, Limit Code, and Boy Cotton. Yeah, I was... I don't know if I told you guys earlier, but I've had the Gilgan Island theme stuck in my head for like a few days now. I don't know how it got there, but it's, it's an okay song, so I'm not too angry. Three Trolling Trolls, Red Reboot, best super in the set. F.A. Dawn Dragster, this monster is really good. People should play it if they can make a, what is this, a level seven? Yeah, they should play this. This is a really good monster. It's like a Psalm Judgment. <laughs> should play it. Bear Hug, Pixel. Don't bring me down, Blister Packs. That's a good song by Elo. Don't bring me down. Man, I got an Element Saber Molo in every pack so far. Gurgon's End, Kaiden, Kendo Spirit, Crystal Keeper, Element Saber, Malehu, Ultra Rare. Like, the worst Ultra Rare, I think. F.A. Overheat. We're listening Nightmare and Zector Link Monster Limit Code. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the worst um, Ultra Rare in the set, even though I like this monster. I think it's pretty cool. All right, once per turn, quick effect, you can send one element saber monster from your hand or a graveyard, and then one face-up card on the face-up monster on the field. Change it face down defense position. Once per turn, if this card's in the graveyard, you can declare one attribute. This card in the graveyard becomes that attribute until the end of this turn. Uh, not a pretty good card if you have the field spell on there, because you can uh, just send from deck instead. I'll flip a monster face down. I, I do like that monster, even though that's the worst ultra in terms of raw value. I've only played against Element Saber online. I doubt I'm ever going to play against it in an actual real-life card game. Alder Ice, Goldolga, Trindangle Trinity, Mech Knight Avram, another red reboot. Firefighting Daruma Doll. Uh, Flower Cardian, Moonflower Viewing, Trickstar Bloom, Pico Flina, and Vendred Daybreak. Alright, still going here. Got an Ultra. Come on, give me a secret. Uh, there's Malo again, Gurgons and Kendo Spirit, Nightmare Phoenix, super rare, World Legacy Awakenings, one of my favorite monsters in a long time, I love Phoenix and Cerberus. Nightmares just open up the game to so many possibilities, like, I can't praise them enough, Konami did it right, I'm, I'm so glad, this, this set was nuts because of them, it's just extremely powerful monsters that anyone can summon, and they're balanced too, they're, they're wonderfully balanced, Mine is Scapegoat sometimes, I guess. Watchcat, Mamaliki, Defrag Dragon, Gurgons, and Topologic Trisbania. That's a secret rare right there. That's a good one. The cover monster, Goki Face Turn for the rare. Uh, background Dragon, Crystal Conclave, and Crystal Master. So, in Danger Dark Worlds, I like to use this card as a link up into... I use it as basically a link up into Topologic uh, Gumbar Dragon, but... Topologic Trisbania, which is a really cool looking monster, really good monster. Uh, if a monster is special summoned to a zone, this card points to banish as many of those monsters as possible. Also, as many spell or traps on the field as possible. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent uh, for each of their cards banished by this effect. I really like that monster. Uh, it can work really good if you're going into time and you realize you can't go into battle or something. I've actually seen people do it. Win the game by the new time rules by making Trisbania. It's pretty hilarious. Best common in the set, Call by the Grave. Vendred Nightmare, Altergeist, Kildoga, Tindingle Trinity, 
There's the altar I was talking about, the Palace of the Elemental Lords to match our Elemental Dark Monster. Real Legacy Struggle. Man, what is happening here? I never noticed how violent this card was. Holy shit, it's Ibley before she turns into the Corrupter and she's like getting stabbed? Oh my god, what's happening here? Ugh, that's terrible. Transmitter, Goki Bear Hug, and Altergeist, a Mutta Leaf. Alright, here we go. Palace of the Elemental Lords. Alright, here, it's a lot of text. All you control gain attack and event equal to the number of different attributes in your graveyard times 200. Once per turn, you can add one little saber monster from your deck to your hand, but skip the battle phase of your next turn. Even this card leaves the field. Once per turn, if an element saber monster in your hand or field would send a card from hand to graveyard to activate an effect, you can send that any element saber monsters from your deck to the graveyard instead. So yeah, this card's really good in their deck. Um... Online have been really messed up by the dark one because they send a monster this effect activates and then I'm just like fucking his attack will go up sometimes It's just like damn. All right last pack of flames of destruction two ultras and a secret I'm gonna get greedy and want another secret right now. Here's space insulator good link monster fresh this start That's what it's called right sis tart. Oh, I, I see what it's see. It's supposed to be a tart. That's also sister sis tart Always those cute puns with the medulchies uh, Rainbow Refraction Super Rare, which was, I believe was called Over the Rainbow. Sekka's Light. This card has become huge uh, with Burning Abyss. Uh, I saw Danger Burning Abyss got first place in Montreal, Canada last weekend. Or yesterday, I guess. And uh, I, I don't want to play that build. I, I want to keep playing the Dark Worlds. Besides, it wasn't even really that Danger build. It was just they used it for extra parts sometimes. So not bad. <clears throat> All right, Cyber Night Horizon. Speaking of danger, can I get some danger? Are these packs dangerous? So many puns you can make with a danger archetype. It's never ending. All right. Handsome guy. Goki Ring Trainer. Cosmo Brain. Universal Adapter. Dragoonie Senatos and Link Disciple. Link Devotee. Heal Ogre and Link Turret. Just hoping for more dangerous support. I mean, we know we're getting some, just hoping it's good. Breaking of the World played against this deck, actually played against the Demise deck, uh, beat it up pretty good. Second Ace, Beast, Magic Attack, World Legacy, Survivor, and another Link to Cycle. Reclusia, Rune, Angel of Oblivion, Cybernetic Overflow, and World Legacy's, what is that? Mind Meld. But you guys should be side decking Mind Crushes. That's like one of the best side deck cards. That's like cheap and really effective. I highly recommend it to everybody. I've been running Mind Crush my entire life ever since it came out. Mini Boral Dragon, Restoration Point Guard, Crusadia Draco, World Legacy Memory, and Umber, Umbra Mirage, the Elemental Lord, and Cyber Switch. Crusadia Regulix, Goki Tag Partner, and Cycle of the World. These Crusadias are really good. Don't sleep on them. When you go up against Crusadia, you get scared. They are good. How many of you want to hear me uh, sing parts of the Gilligan Island theme? I'm not going to. I'm not going to torch you all. This is already torchful enough watching this video. Crusadia Vanguard, Zero Extra Link, Crusadia Revival, and Glider Beast Dragasses. What a weird name, Dragasses. I don't like that card at all. Heal Ogre, Link Turd, and Leonis. This is the really good card they use with um, Rescue Cat in Crusadia. Really good. Done. Seven Horizon. Give me some. I need some. Fiending for it. Cupid Volley. I like this card's art. Reminds me of uh, Skull Angel. <laughs> Flip effect draw card. The good old Skull Angel. Uh, Shield Handler. Crusadia Draco. Mana Dragon. Zernatron. Paladin of Storm Dragon. Mind Meld. Cluster Congester. And Link Devotee. Huh. So yeah, obviously the best, uh, we're waiting for the ban list too. I guess the ban list is supposed to come out in a, like a week or two and it'll be effective in September. It's the current rumor, but we'll see. Dragoonie Legion, Crusadia Araborea, Mini Boral Dragon, another Umber Mirage, the Elemental the Lord, and Demise, Supreme King Drake, or Supreme King, King of Armageddon. Uh, Solitary Sword of Poison, this has nothing to do with bamboo, right? Yeah. Uh, Crusadia Reclusia, and another Rune Angel of Oblivion. All right, I'm down my last 
three packs here. Let's go. Here we go. Goki Ring Drainer, Cosmo Brain, Universal Adapter, and a Danger Jackalope in the house, the Deep Grave. World Easy's Mind Mail, No Arms, Clarinet, and Ballista Squad, and Solitary Sword of Poison. There we go. Got the Danger Jackalope. Glowing green bunny with antlers and horns and fangs. Getting chased. Glowing green. You know, Jackalope is probably, out of the first four we've got, is probably the best one. Anytime a monster can special summon any monster of its archetype from the deck to the field, that's really good. Uh, some people are down on it because it only special summons in defense, but who cares? If you activate this during end phase, like you have a danger zone or something, and you you know, special out Bigfoot or something, I mean, it just extends so many plays and sets you up for your next turn. All right, I'll read Danger Jackal over here. I love its question marks. It just doesn't really fit the other ones right now. You can reveal this card in your hand. Your opponent randomly chooses one card from your entire hand. Then you discard the chosen card. Then if the discarded card was not danger, jackalope, there's someone one danger, jackalope, from your hand. And if you do, draw one card. If this card is discarded, you can special summon one danger monster from your deck in defense position. Except danger, jackalope, you can only use the effect of danger, jackalope, once per turn. Oh, you know you're a decent card when you got to have your name in it four times. Some people are really stupid. They only run like one jackalope. It's like, what are you doing? You need to have at least two. I like three. Three jackalope in the house. Here. Two chupacabra. I, I'm, I'm pretty set on that guy. I don't like three chupacabra. Chupacabra is so bad to open. He's so bad sometimes. Ring of the World, Psychic Ace, Beast, Magic Attack, and a Cyber Dragon Hurts back to back ultras. Right there, Dragoonity Lewin. Uh, Metaphys, Decoy Dragon, Boral Regenerator, World Ace, Mind Meld, and Noble Arms, Claret. Cyber Dragon Hurts. This card's really good for the deck. Uh, I played against Cyber Dragon in the shop. Uh, barely beat it. Um, uh, Cyber Dragon's one of those decks where you're always scared when you're playing, but you're never, like, that scared. You're like, oh my god, they could FTK me right now, and then they don't do anything. You're like, alright, I guess I got them. Uh, this... This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. You can o you can only use one of the following effects of Cyber Dragon Hurts per turn and only once that turn. So yeah, a guy was trying to use both effects. I'm like, no, dude, you only get to pick one. You don't get to activate both in the same turn. Holy shit. If the card is special summon, you can make this card's level become five until the end of this turn. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except machine monsters. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one other Cyber Dragon from your deck to your gra or grave to your hand. Really good. I really like this card. Good support for Cyber Dragon. Honestly, all their cards seem good. Well, no, they have that one monster as a common. All right, last pack of the video. Last pack of Cyber Dragon Horizon. Can we finish with a secret or another ultra? Shield Handler, Psychic Ace, Breaking of the World, Crusade, or Boreal. No, I got a Noble Knight, Custodian, and a Sinet Ritual. Here's the Divine Serpent Geh, a Mythical Institution, and Goki Heal Ogre. You know what, uh, for 19 packs, it's a pretty good haul there. I got uh, a secret and four ultras. I'll take that all day. <sighs> yep. Another quality time. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. If you want to see more of this, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified immediately that I've opened some quality content, go hit that bell icon, you know, for whom the bell tolls. And that will notify you instantaneously I've uploaded some more stuff. Hopefully it will be another hour-long video, but I can tell you, making that hour-long video was pretty fun. I'm making two of them, actually. And uh, I will, uh, I appreciate every single comment and like I get, every single thumbs up. Uh, it matters a lot to me. It uh, means that someone's actually watching these and appreciating and viewing them. Uh, go ahead and share them if you think that, if, if, if you don't want to... If you think by sharing the video on, on your, your Facebook or or whatever the other things you guys use are, is there Instagram, uh, uh, Twitter, uh, Apple Store, whatever we get these on, uh, if you think it's going to ruin your reputation, then don't share. But if you think you're going to be all right, then go ahead and share this video. And I greatly appreciate it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a couple days.